The Emergencies Act will be used to strengthen and support law enforcement agencies at all levels across the country. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Monday invoked extraordinary emergency powers in an effort to end protests that have blocked border crossings and paralyzed the country's capital of Ottawa. Here in our capital city, families and small businesses have been enduring illegal obstruction of their neighborhoods. Occupying streets, harassing people, breaking the law, this is not a peaceful protest. The Emergencies Act has only been used once in peacetime by Trudeau's father, former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, who invoked an earlier version of the act in 1970. It allows the federal government to override the provinces and authorize special temporary measures to ensure security during national emergencies. This is about keeping Canadians safe, protecting people's jobs, and restoring confidence in our institutions. Trudeau's action comes as the so-called Freedom Convoy protests, started by Canadian truck drivers opposing a COVID-19 vaccine mandate, have turned into a rallying point for people opposing the policies of Trudeau's government, covering everything from pandemic restrictions to a carbon tax. Protests in Ottawa have entered their third week, while a six-day blockade on a bridge connecting Windsor, Ontario to Detroit, Michigan, choking the supply chain for U.S. car makers, was finally cleared over the weekend. Protesters have also shut down smaller border crossings in Alberta, Manitoba and British Columbia. Still, four provincial premiers said they opposed Trudeau's plan to invoke the act, calling it unnecessary, with Quebec's premier adding, quote, now is not the time to throw oil on the fire. The Canadian Parliament would have to approve the use of the emergency measures within seven days, and it also has the power to revoke them.